So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna do some cages, like I did for the trees. Uh, but these are gonna be a, a little bit, you know, smaller. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna basically like overlap just one so that the little holes match and then just basically start bending wherever I cut and that can hook basically so there we got it now same thing I'm just gonna cut it pretty much straight through the center So instead of making another square to basically close this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna close it like this. And I'm just gonna bend it. Push, push the points in so that it stays like in a circle and that's basically how that looks like and once again this is just basically for like the prairie dogs because I'm gonna plant these grapes I don't want to plant them and the grapes are, are doing so good and then you know a prairie dog finds it and they just eat all the roots off of it and it dies so I'm trying to prevent that pretty much from everything now where when it comes to like the trees and stuff I buy, like I'm gonna start doing these cages so that whatever I plant basically has a good a good root structure before it basically pops this off and it rips it and then it just keeps growing and then this deteriorates and rots away. Um, it's just for protection. So I'm gonna do a couple more.
So this is how I'm planting the grapes. I have the cage that I did the other day. I'm gonna set it in there. But since it's bent at the bottom, there's kind of like a little opening or it's, there's a void underneath the cage. So I'm just gonna fill it with the compost. Basically half of this bucket, which is a five gallon bucket from a tree that I went to go fill up from over there. And then I just spread it a little bit. And here on the wheelbarrow is basically the dirt I took out that is actually pretty good. Um, it's a little clayish, but I think it doesn't really matter with the grapes. And I'll do like two of those. And then I'll measure this here to make to make sure that the this part of the of, of the grapes is above basically where it's gonna get water. So it's gonna go like that with this stem going this way so that it can tie with the metal mesh that we're gonna put here. Um so the other thing is basically here's the string. I tie the string and this basically makes sure that whenever I put the grape it's going to be on this side of the fence so once the grape is set I won't be have to bending it too much except for the branches to intertwine it inside the mesh as it starts to grow. So it goes there. I could bend this one a little bit. This one's at a, this branch is at an angle, and all the other branches will eventually hook on. So this is how I want it, and it's clearing the dirt. So I'm gonna yank it out of of that. We'll probably just set it a little bit more to the center. A little bit of compost around. And then some dirt. That's it for the compost. And that's basically it. I have my four grapes in. The excess dirt I'm gonna go dump over there where I'm, I'm filling up a hole and uh, now I'm going to water it.
So this is what we got. We got a hose to PVC connection. And then just a little piece of the PVC, a 45. And it goes into a T. And then this goes this way, elbow. Um, bubbler irrigation. And it goes this way. Bubbler irrigation for this other grape. And then it goes this way. And then it stops there because when we do the when we extend all this this way um, in like a year or two then that connection will be there just for me to cut it and then keep going with that so that it follows this line and then on this side it goes from the entrance and then it tees off and then it goes this way same thing bubbler bubbler for that grape and then it stops there with the cap so we can extend it all the way that way and then from this T it goes this way to the end there's a little connection there um, for the little piece that I was missing and then it elbows and then same thing bubbler bubbler and then it stops um, these bubblers here are for what in the future will be berries i'll have berries in this area uh, but in the meantime i got the grapes in i got the irrigation in we have to let all the glue dry on the pipes before we turn on the water so we're going to give it about like maybe like 20 30 minutes for that to completely dry and then we'll continue that and then we'll bury it and everything and that's pretty much how we got going on with these grapes here. So we're gonna start off with this one. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna we're just gonna open them up. So let me show you the grapes real quick. So they're in between that T post, there's a grape in between that one, and then that one, there's another grape. Same thing in the back, T post, grape, T post, grape, T post. And this basically are grapes right here. So thank you for joining us on this video where you know we plant these grapes I have three different types of grapes and I put the two that are the same in the back and I put the two different ones here in the front um, yeah so in the previous one we where we basically extended the garden I had added all these posts already before all this happened it was like pre-planting of the grapes so that's where I did that and then once these were set 
I basically went to go buy the grapes when I bought the trees and I basically had the grapes inside the house. I've been just watering them. We brought him. I did the holes where they were gonna go. I planted him last night. Uh, in the video, it was last night. And then I gave him a little bit of water. And then this morning, I basically tackled on the trenches for the plumbing and I did the irrigation and everything. Tested it and now we are here. And uh, eventually, the first thing would be to do would to add the uh, mesh here for the grapes so they can so they can vine up and start growing like that and then after that would be to create those hoops I want to do here with rebar um, now there's water overflowing in various places and right now we're just gonna leave it like this we're just gonna have these kind of fill up and anywhere I see where it's kind of over overflowing a lot I'm gonna cover it and then as time moves on I'm gonna basically kind of rectangle these basins so it can fill up with water and make them a little bigger so they can fill up a lot more water but anyways those are the grapes I planted the grapes here already and you know that's basically it you know please comment like subscribe ask questions and we'll get back to you thank you